Welcome. Today we'll take a look at the Kagan learning chips. There are several different kinds of learning chips that we have. We would like to demonstrate one set of chips with a Kagan structure that you can use with those chips. Our first look will be with a team building topic and there are the names of its content on one side of the chip and on the other side is a question all ready for your students to answer and respond. But if we want students to be engaged, we will structure the interaction. One of the structures called draw a chip might work something like this in your classrooms. After you've taken the, the chips out, draw a chip is a great uh, structure to use within teams. You'll notice that the chips are real uh, hard, they're durable, so if they drop they won't break for you. The first thing we will do is sitting in teams of four is one student on the team for the structure draw a chip, draws the top chip, reads the question aloud, and answers the question as a team builder so the students on the team can get to know something about somebody else. For example, I might draw the chip that says, who is your role model and why? My mom is my role model. As a retired music teacher, she certainly led me into the field and career of music and teaching music. Once the first chip has been used, Christy would just retire that chip. If I'm next on her team, I would draw the next chip the prompt simply says, what's your uh, scariest experience Describe. I would have to say to my teammates that I think one of the scariest experiences is when our house was flooded when I was very, very young, and it was extremely traumatic for me. I shared mine. My chip is retired. Person number three goes, and then four goes. Draw a chip then is finished when all the chips have been used. That's just one structure, and on the back of every single learning chip are other structures that can engage the team in different ways. Another set of learning chips are the story chips, which can be used to answer questions at the end of any story. We could be reading and studying a story from Three Little Pigs. You could be reading Tom Sawyer. You could even be studying Catcher in the Rye. One structure, like Round Robin, can be used with these questions a teacher can read one question from the chips. Everyone on the team, we're sitting in teams of four, takes turns answering the question. Or you could have all of the chips at every single team table. One student would draw the chip. That would be the question prompt for everyone at the team to answer while they're doing the round robin. This team could be answering one question about the story while your other teams could be responding to different questions about the story. Round Robin is one structure of many structures where we can process content. Kagan offers canisters to store your learning chips for future use. Combo sets are also available, eight in each set, one set for every single team in your classroom. Also canisters are available when you order the combo set of eight. We also offer blank learning chips for you to create your own questions for any topic. 